After the most recent video on compact chainsaws, a lot of people requested testing hand saws or pruning saws. So let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. In the first test, we'll see which saw has the sharpest teeth. Then we'll see which saw cuts the fastest on soft and hardwoods using a tester. Then we'll see if we get the same cutting speed results without a tester. At a price of only $6 is this One Stop Gardens brand, which is sold at Harbor Freight. It has an 8-inch blade with 7 teeth per inch. The blade is made of carbon steel. It includes a push-button lock to secure the blade. The grip is made of ABS plus TPR. The One Stop Gardens is made in China. And the One Stop Gardens weighs 198 grams. Let's test the sharpness of the knives using this best certified sharpness tester. The sharpness chart came with the tester. A double-edged razor blade is around a sharpness of 50. A utility blade is anywhere from 150 to 200. New high-end cutter is anywhere from 250 to 350. Edges that need maintenance are around 400 and a butter knife is around 2,000. The saws are designed to cut on the pull. So let's test the sharpness of the pull side of the teeth. And the Harbor Freight One Stop Gardens made the cut at 475. That's actually not too bad for a saw blade. At a price of $10 is this FloorGuard brand. They claim that each tooth is sharpened on three sides, then impulse hardened for a longer life. The stainless steel blade is 7.7 .7 inches in length. The blade lock is designed to keep the blade from folding during use. The FloorGuard is made in China. And the FloorGuard weighs 218 grams. And the FloorGuard isn't nearly as sharp as the One Stop Gardens at 845. Amazon Basics also makes a folding pruning saw that has a 7-inch blade. They claim that their pruning saw has triple-cut razor teeth that have a hardened steel blade. It's supposed to easily cut through small to medium-sized branches. Right out of the box, the blade favors one side and does not close without a little assistance. The Amazon Basics is made in China. The Amazon Basics weighs 258 grams. And the Amazon Basics is pretty close to the same sharpness as the Floor Guard at 915. At a price of $12 is this Genward brand. The Genward has a 10-inch blade made of SK5 steel. The blade has experienced high-frequency quenching and has a Japanese-style triple slant staggered teeth. They claim this can easily cut through a 6 to 7-inch diameter branch. TPR and PP non-slip handle. Deploying or closing the blade takes some effort since the blade is extremely stiff. The Genward is made in China. And the Genward weighs 332 grams. And the Genward has the second sharpest blade yet at 595 for about 120 less than the One Stop Gardens. At a price of $12 is this Fujiwara brand. The Fujiwara has an 8-inch blade made of SK5 steel. Triple cut razor teeth are hardened to stay sharp for smooth, fast sawing. Anti-slip soft grip designed to ensure efficient trimming. The Fujiwara blade does not completely fold into the handle of the knife. The Fujiwara is made in Japan. And the Fujiwara weighs 216 grams. And the Fujiwara is by far the sharpest yet at 330 or 140 points sharper than the One Stop Gardens. At a price of $15 is this WorkPro brand, made from ultra high strength and high speed steel. Teflon coating on surface of saw can prevent rust and dust. Soft and ergonomic handle ensures a firm grip. Includes a 7 TPI aggressive staggered tooth design. WorkPro claims their saw cuts faster than traditional hand saws. The WorkPro is made in China. The WorkPro blade does favor one side when closing. And the WorkPro is the lightest yet at 170 grams. And the WorkPro has about the same sharpness as the One Stop Gardens at 555. At a price of $17 is this Gruntech brand. It includes a 7-inch blade that's been impulse hardened. 6 tooth per inch, 3-dimensional grinding for each tooth to ensure a perfect cutting experience. Teflon coated handsaw blade made of robust high carbon steel. The Gruntech is made in Germany. 226 grams for the Gruntech. And the Gruntech is at 820 or about the same sharpness as the floor guard. Also at a price of $17, the same price as the Gruntech is this Corona brand. It includes a 7-inch high carbon steel blade. The blade has been heat treated for hardness. Chrome finish coat for smooth action and blade upkeep. Triple ground teeth for maximum cut efficiency. The Corona brand is made in Korea. And the Corona weighs 196 grams. And the Corona is by far the sharpest yet at 255 or 80 points sharper than the Fujiwara. At a price of $18 is this Mossy Oak 3-in-1 folding saw. It's a pruning saw with wood, metal, and PVC blade featuring triple cut razor sharp teeth. Rugged razor tooth blade remains stable during strong pulls. The Mossy Oak is made in China. And the Mossy Oak weighs 266 grams. And the Mossy Oak is the dullest saw yet at 1,000. It'll be very interesting to see how this thing cuts wood in the next test. At a price of $18 is this Eversol brand. The Eversol includes an 8-inch blade made from SK5 carbon steel. It claims to have a ribbed rubber handle that offers good grip. Some of the knives have 7 or 8 teeth per inch, but the Eversol has 9. The Eversol is made in China. And the Eversol weighs 292 grams. And the Eversol is even duller than the Mossy Oak at 1835 also, the price of $18 is this SOG brand. It includes a synthetic pouch, textured rubber handle with steel liners. The blade is hard case black tempered steel. Dual position locking both open and closed. The SOG is made in China. The SOG weighs 266 grams. And the SOG is the same as the Masi Oak at 1,000.
At a price of $24 is this Samurai brand. Impulse hardened steel blade made of durable hardened steel. Triple ground teeth for maximum cutting efficiency. The Samurai is made in Japan. 234 grams for the Samurai. And the name Samurai seems to fit and it's the sharpest yet at 230. Very impressive. At a price of $25 is this Gecko brand. Includes a razor sharp Japanese steel blade. Designed to cut wood with minimum force and short time. Made of triple ground hardened steel. Designed to cut all types of wood. The Gecko is made in Japan. 220 grams for the Gecko. And the Gecko is almost as sharp as the Corona at 270. So the Japanese saws are by far the sharpest in the lineup. At a price of $25 is this Gerber brand. Includes interchangeable blades that are sharp, durable, and designed with purpose. The overall blade length is 7.1 inches. Gerber claims their stainless steel blades are sharp and durable as the Dickens. They also claim that their blades are designed to be one-third more efficient than typical hand saws. Also includes a carrying case with a fine tooth blade. Includes a push button blade lock. The Gerber is made in China. And the Gerber's the lightest yet at 154 grams. And the Gerber performed very well with the sharpness of 320. At a price of $30 is this Baco brand. It includes a 7.5 inch, 7 tooth per inch blade. Designed for cutting both green, dry wood, and plastic. Specially coated for rust protection and low friction. The Baco is made in Sweden. 188 grams for the Baco. And the Baco is pretty dull at 1,490 or about 1,200 sharpness points behind the leader. At a price of $34 is this Kershaw brand. Featuring triple cut razor sharp teeth. Rugged razor tooth blade remains stable during strong pulls. The Kershaw is made in China. And the Kershaw weighs 224 grams. And the Kershaw made the cut at 590 or about 300 points behind the Samurai. At a price of $43, the most expensive brand we'll be testing is the Silky Pocket Boy. Leaves smooth surface after cutting and can rip cut, cross cut, and slant cut. The blade is tapered ground to reduce resistance, giving smoother, easier, faster cutting performance. The blade has four cutting angles along with its length. The teeth of the blades are heat treated instantly and hardened. Silky claims the teeth stay sharper about three times longer than non-hardened teeth. Hard chrome plating produces an exceedingly high durable surface. The Pocket Boy definitely seems to have the most comfortable handle. The Silky is made in Japan. 224 grams for the Silky. And the Silky is about the same sharpness as the Gerber at 375. There's a lot more to cutting efficiency than just edge sharpness, but the Samurai is the sharpest at 230. The Corona finished in second at 255, Geeko 270, Gerber 320, and Fujiwara 335. The next test will take into account tooth geometry, tip, and blade edge sharpness using this tester that I put together. After fastening the saw to the tester, I'll add a steel plate and two clamps that weigh right at 4.24 pounds. The tester handle has stops in the front and back side that allow right at 5 inches of blade travel. Let's start with Softwood, a 3 quarter inch wooden dowel. With 4.24 pounds of downward force on the handle, the One Stop Gardens made the cut in 8.5 back and forth passes. And the floor guard didn't perform nearly as well on the sharpness test as the One Stop Gardens, and it didn't perform as well on this test at 15 back and forth passes. And the Amazon Basic struggled on the sharpness test, and it struggled on this test too at 14.5 back and forth passes. With a sharpness score of 595, the Ginwood performed as expected at 11.5 strokes. And the Fujiwara performed very well on the sharpness test, and it performed by far the best yet at only 2.2 strokes. Very impressive! And the Work Pro isn't nearly as sharp as the Fujiwara on the sharpness test, but it performed good enough to move into second place behind the Fujiwara at 6.2 strokes. And the Gruntek struggled on the sharpness test, but the blade tip sharpness and tooth geometry helped it on this test at 7 strokes. And the Corona is extremely sharp at 255 on the sharpness test, and it did the best so far on this test at only 2 strokes. Very impressive! And the Mossy Oak struggled on the sharpness test with a score of 1,000, and it struggled on this test with 15 strokes. And the Eversaw struggled even more than the Mossy Oak on the sharpness test, and it struggled even more on this test too at 32 back and forth passes. And the SOG struggled on the sharpness test, and it struggled quite a bit on this test at 18 strokes to make the cut. And the Samurai is extremely sharp with a sharpness score of 230, and it aced this test at only 4 back and forth passes. And the Gecko is extremely sharp, but the 8 tooth per inch design really hurt the performance at 8 strokes. And the Gerber is also extremely sharp, it has a tooth count of 7 teeth per inch, and it made the cut in only 2.2 back and forth passes. And the Baco struggled on the sharpness test with a score of 1,490, and it takes 9 back and forth passes to make the cut. And the Kershaw performed about the same as the Baco on this test at 10 passes, or about 8 passes more than the leader. And the Silky is sharper than average and it performed better than average on this test at 4.5 strokes. So the Corona came out on top at only two back and forth passes. Fujiwara and Gerber 2.2, Samurai 4, and Silky 4.5. Let's really put the blades of the test and test the blades out on some green hedge apple wood. Definitely not a perfect test since the branch will narrow just a little bit with each cut. And the Harbor Freight One Stop Gardens really struggled, finally making the cut at 123 back and forth passes. And the Floor Guard continues to really struggle. And the Floor Guard finally finished the job after 212 back and forth passes. And the Amazon Basics continues to perform better than the Floor Guard, but not quite as good as the One Stop Gardens at 144 strokes. 
And again, word is definitely better designed for cutting hardwood than the previous brands, making the cut in only 48 strokes. And the Fujiwara is scary sharp and highly efficient on softwood, and it's incredibly efficient on this test too at only 14 strokes. Very impressive. And the WorkPro performed well on the last test, and it performed well on this test too at 28 strokes or twice as many strokes as the Fujiwara. At 6 teeth per inch, the Gruntech is well designed for softwood, and it performed fairly well on this test at 47 back and forth passes. And the Krona won the last showdown, and it just took the lead from the Fujiwara at 11 passes or 3 passes better than the Fujiwara. And the Mossy Oak struggled in the last round, and it struggled again this time at 79 strokes. Just like the Mossy Oak, the Eversol struggled in the last round and it struggled once again at 62 passes. And the SOG struggled at 110 passes or 99 passes more than the Corona. And the Samurai performed extremely well in the last showdown and the Samurai moves into third position in this event at 16 back and forth passes. At 18th per inch, the Geeko just isn't aggressive enough. 33 back and forth passes is still better than average. And the Gerber is close to 17th per inch and has a more aggressive design than the Geeko. 20 back and forth passes is good enough to move into 4th position. And the Baco performed better on hardwood compared to the softwood, 33 strokes to make the cut. And the Kershaw struggled on the last test at 10 passes and it struggled a little bit on this test at 57 strokes. And the Silky did better than average on the last test and it continues to perform better than average at 24 strokes. So once again, the Corona came out on top at 11 strokes. Fujiwara finished in second at 14, Samurai 16, Gerber 20, and Silky 24. A far less scientific approach, but let's do it anyway. I'll cut through a 2x2 two two and let's once again compare the cutting speed for each brand. I'll skip testing the one-stop garden since I accidentally hit a nail and caused damage to the teeth just before this test. And it took me 15.7 seconds to cut through a 2x4 with the floor guard. And the Amazon Basics made the cut quite a bit faster than the floor guard and very close to 10 seconds. And the Gidward continues to outperform the floor guard in only 7.3 seconds to make the cut. And the Fujiwara continues to amaze, ripping through the board in only 3.44 seconds. Very impressive. And the Work Pro continues to perform better than average, making the cut in 6.5 seconds. And the Gruntech continues to trail the Work Pro in performance, including this test in 7.2 seconds. And the Corona performed extremely well, making the cut in 4.8 seconds, or about 1.4 seconds slower than the Fujiwara. And the Masioka struggled throughout the showdown, and it struggled in this test in 9.4 seconds. And the Eversaw is even slower than the Mossy Oak at 9.6 seconds. And the SOG is barely faster than the Eversaw at 8.6 seconds or about 5 seconds slower than the Leader. And the Long Blade on the Samurai really helped his performance and it made the fastest cut yet in only 3.28 seconds. And the Geeko was very fast in 4.08 seconds but the blade deflection was a bit of a challenge. And the Gerber continues to perform better than average making the cut in only 5.1 seconds. And the Bako is a little bit faster than average at 6.8 seconds or about half as fast as the Leader. And the Kershaw needs almost a second longer than the Baco at 7.6 seconds. And the Silky continues to perform much better than average at only 4.1 seconds. So the Samurai is the fastest at only 3.28 seconds. The Fujiwara is almost as fast at 3.44, Geeko 4.05, Silky 4.1, and Corona 4.8 seconds. Let's test blade edge retention next by running the saw blade across some fully cured hedge apple 100 times. Let's compare the sharpness once again using a 3 quarter inch wooden dowel. Most of the saw blades claim to have some type of protective coating which could impact the initial sharpness. And the floor guard performed a little bit better than new, making the cut at only 14 strokes instead of 15. And the Amazon Basics performed almost as well as new at 15 back and forth passes. And the Ginward started out at 11.5 strokes and is half a stroke faster this time at 11. And the Fujiwara shredded the wooden dowel in 2.2 passes in the first test and made the cut this time in 3.1. And the Work Pro performed about the same as new, going from 6.2 passes to 6. And the Gruntech also performed about the same as new, dropping off slightly from 7 to 7.2 strokes. And the Corona once again performed very well, making the cut in 2.7 passes. And the Mossy Oak struggled on the first test at 15 passes and needed 16 passes this time. And the coating on the Eversol blade must have really interfered with the new blade performance and it showed the most improvement yet at 14 passes. And the SOG made a little more progress over the new blade going from 18 to 16 back and forth passes. And the Samurai made the cut in 3.2 passes this time to move into third place behind the Fujiwara. And the Geeko performed better than new making the cut in 7 back and forth passes. And the Gerber made the cut in 2.2 seconds and lost a little ground, making the cut in 4.4 passes this time. And the Baco improved as the paint wore away, cutting through the dowel in 7 passes. And the Kershaw lost a little progress, going from 10 passes when new to 13 passes this time. And the Silky brand also lost a little progress this time, going from 4.5 to 7.2 strokes. So after all the testing, the Krona is now the sharpest saw, making the cut in 2.7 back and forth passes. 
the Fujiwara 3.1, Samurai 3.2, and Gerber 4.2. I also measured the amount of lateral blade bend with 2.5 pounds on the tip of the blade. And the floor guard in the Work Pro only experienced 1.25 inches of sag with 2.5 pounds of weight. The Bako and the Kershaw were at 1.4. Blade thickness has an impact on cutting speed and blade stiffness. And the Geekko is extremely thin and wobbly at only 0.6 millimeters. The Kershaw is also very thin at 0.8 millimeters, Gerber 0.83, Samurai 0.87, and Ginwork 0.88 millimeters. I also tested the blade lock strength with 10 pounds of weight on the front of the blade. All of the folding saws survived this test except for the Amazon Basics which really struggled. So which folding handsaw is the best? And the Corona came out on top in the showdown with an average finish of 2nd place. The Samurai had an average finish of 2.2, Fujiwara 2.6, and Gerber 4th place. I really like these showdowns when the affordable products outperform the more expensive brands and that's exactly what the Corona did in this showdown. It's a very good handsaw and would definitely be my choice if the price was right. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.